What's up everyone, Aaron here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at Iron Factory's IF-EX-48 Hanyamaru. This is the latest addition to their Iron Samurai series, and it is a very samurai-inspired take on Cyclonus. But, as you are likely aware, and could very well be the selling point to you as it was for me, this Cyclonus is also a dead ringer for the Cyclonus that appeared in the first Generation 1 continuity from IDW Comics, as you can see behind it. So, I've been super excited for this figure. Let's not waste any more time and we'll get right into it. But first, we'll take a look at his box and all the accessories he comes with. Alright, so here's his box. As you can see, it's like Bludgeon and uh, the Leo convoy figures that they've done. In this series, there's a windowless box, very stylized. Got some kanji there, as well as Cyclonus's silhouetted head. Product shots on the back, Weibo, etc. You know the drill. Nice box, though. Obviously, you will get instructions, as is part for the course. And you get a fair amount of accessories here. So... We'll start off here with, he comes with an alternate head, and it's exactly the same as the head that is, comes installed on him, except he has a broken horn, which, if you have read those comics, you'll know occurred when he was fighting Whirl in the first issue, and so for a while he sported this look in the series, till it was fixed. So, kind of even more evidence that that's exactly who this is meant to be, but great looking head sculpt. We'll get into that later. Um, the other thing that you can do here is these horns are detachable. It looks like they learned from some of the problems that they had with their bludgeon figure and his horns and how easily it was to break those completely off. So that is removable. I and So in theory, you could just swap the horns out if you wanted to do that. But uh, I already glued <laughs> the horns on the other head, so um, I'll be swapping them out, but they're super easy to change. They're just not a very simple ball joint, unlike some of the other Iron Factory figures. There's no uh, two pieces to it for you to unscrew to loosen up to get on the ball peg, so very easy to swap out. Now you're going to get three extra sets of hands for him. You're going to get a set of open hands they look really good you will get a pair of holding hands like this you can hold the blade his blade at the angle so that's pretty cool you will get a pair of regular holding hands so you can just hold the sword normally and you get a pair of fists as you can see here so pretty cool and they just swap out like pretty much any iron factory figure is just on a little ball peg there and there you go simple as that he comes with this uh, sort of scabbard, sheath, whatever you want to call it, for a sword. And it functions with his alternate mode. I don't really like how it functions with his alternate mode, but as you can see, you can hold the sword perfectly fine with it. And there is a port right here. And you can just port it in like so. And there you go. Swords for your sword. Now, for the sword, it is awesome. <laughs> it is uh, totally, is totally painted up here. Come on now. There we go. 100% painted up here. We got gunmetal gray on the hilt. Blue paint, silver paint, gold paint, copper, whatever you want to call it. Looks great. Looks exactly like the great swords. In the uh, comics looked uh, that he and Drift and Circle of Light use. So, 
Very cool to have. Love this piece. And as you saw already, he can hold it just fine. So there you go. Pretty awesome. So let's take a closer look at Cyclonus and go over his articulation. And, you know, not as with a lot of Iron Factories, not a lot of paint, but where it is applied, it really pops and looks great. Uh, face is painted, obviously. I'm pretty sure his eyes are bl a black plastic piece and they've painted them red. So that gives it a pretty cool looking effect. A little bit of silver paint here on his chest and on this white oven his collar here. Uh, other than that, he's got some pink on his knees and on his cockpit in vehicle mode. And he's got this sort of gunmetal chrome in various places like in his skirts. Uh, in these joints right here. Uh, on the sides of his knees here. On this right here. So... Like I said, not a ton of paint, but where it is applied, it looks good. So, as far as, like I said, we saw this head sculpt already, so we won't spend a whole lot of time on that, but just look at that. That's that's a freaking awesome head sculpt. I love it. Even if you're not a fan, that's just a bad looking Cyclonus. So, head is on a ball joint, as I said, so you get a, you know, you can get 360. You get a pretty good amount of up, pretty good amount of down. Of course, that could just be the head popping off the ball a little bit there. Uh, but you do have a pretty good amount of side to side as well. So lots of articulation there. Shoulders are on a ball joint, so you can get 360 there. They move up and down a little bit on a hinge if you need to use that, mostly due to transformation, but nice to have. Elbows are, <laughs> they're not double jointed, but it's more than 90 degrees of bend. So that's pretty cool. You do have bicep rotation as well, and wrist rotation just due to them swapping out. Now, he's got these wing parts on his shoulders that you can angle however you want. You can actually, if you wanted to leave them out like that, you could if you wanted to. Um, but this part right here is on a hand, so you can angle them how you like while they're folded up behind him like so. So you can go up all the way to there and out to there. So, nice to have. Waist, we'll go 360. But I'm not going to try it right now. Just because I don't want to spend all the time straightening back up. But trust me, he can do it. You do have ab crunch forward. That much. And a little bit back, but it's mostly forward. So, um, now we're getting to this interesting part. And I like how they handled his skirts here. So you can fold them. They're on a couple of hinges here. So if you don't even, well, I'll just go ahead and say, if you don't even like them at all, they're just on a ball here. So if you're someone who doesn't like that part of the design, I mean, you can just pop them off. So, but you can also fold them up out of the way if you want to be able to use the leg articulation and such. And we'll put them back to that here in just a second so we can show you that. But you also have a hinge right here on the front to help you with you know, angling forward and everything. So that's nice as well. So yeah, you get some options as far as that goes. Now the legs, as you see, are just on a standard T ball joint. So you get your usual suspects of motion there. Um, he does have thigh rotation right there on this mushroom peg. And he's got, again, largely due to transformation, but if you want to use this hinge, you can bend his leg all the way up and have him do some high stepping, high kick in here. Um, <laughs> it's a thing you can do. Um, not really meant to, but you can do it. Knees, a little more than 90 degrees there. And you get nice rocker action here on the ankle and toe articulation here. So poseability is good there. And you can kick, well, you can weirdly kick. If we're gonna, not going to cheat like that, that's the furthest you can actually kick forward and back. I mean, you can get a lot if you angle the legs out. But as far as kicking straight forward and straight back, you're not going to be able to. But he can do the full splits. So there you go, as far as that goes. So there's your articulation. Uh, very, very good on this guy. So looking good. 
So let's get on right with it and get some size comparisons for you guys, eh? All right. As far as Iron Factory goes, here he is with the only other Iron Samurai series figure that I have, their bludgeon, as well as our usual suspect, Runabout. As far as the other two biggest Legends scale companies, here he is with New Age Skywarp and Magic Square Cyclonus. And as you can see, vastly different takes on the character here. So probably goes without saying that if you're looking for a more G1 looking Cyclonus, you're going to be looking for the Magic Square one or the Mega Fans Toys one or even the DX9 one if you can find it. And as for a Hasbro comparison, here he is with Cyberverse Whirl and Legend Scale Thrilling 30 Tailgate. And obviously I'm delighted that these two look good with him. And for one more, here he is with Deluxe Universe Cyclonus. So you get an idea. As far as with the Deluxe. All right, so let's get this guy transformed. Could be the last time for this specific figure because I have a few problems with the alt mode. We'll get into that when we get to that. But it's also just a very fiddly transformation, and it's not a lot of fun for me. So let's try this. Bear with me here, okay, guys? So I'm going to fold his skirts back out of the way. Pretty sure the instructions what they tell you to do first is you're going to split his legs right here. You can see there's a hinge right down here. You're going to rotate them all the way up over his thighs like so. You kind of want to groove that the part of his uh, calf into that groove on his foot. And you can fold his toe down like that. So just repeat that. And that's pretty much the feet done of the fighter. Jet fighter, whatever it's meant to be. All right, so next one I'm going to do is go to the arms here. What you want to do is rotate them at the bicep and so that the painted part is on the inside. Then you're going to rotate them up like so and rotate them down at the elbow like so. So you're going to have something like that. If you want, you can go ahead and fold the wings out a little bit there just to get them out of the way. But yeah. Just repeat that. Okay, so now we're going to come onto his back, and you see there's a hinge here. This whole part just hinges up, and the instructions tell you to pull this piece right here up. And I can't remember if it has to be a certain, I think it just goes like that. Yeah, so that's going to allow you, as you saw, to slide his arms and his chest right there, his whole shoulder assembly there down. So you got a big giraffe head like this. So now we'll come right here and you're gonna untab these two pieces and open them up on that hinge. Go ahead and bring the nose out some there. And this is gonna sit over his head like so and just make sure you're lining up things as far as that way it goes it's just got to be close enough right <laughs> so then you're going to take this piece and reclose it sort of cover his face up there a little bit <sighs> I love these skirts but they're in the way for transformation 100% so Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to take this and rotate it down on the hinge like so, so that you can tab it into, put this tab into the slot right here. And it's going to help us really kind of bring the jet together, I guess, if you will. But there's a lot of tabbing, and some of it doesn't necessarily always hold in place, in my opinion. So, so you are also notice that you've got a slot here inside of his shoulders and a tab on the side of this piece. So you want to tab that in there as well, like so. On both sides. 
Now, what you want to do is rotate the skirts again, like so. And you've got a tab here and a port right there on the back of his arm. And just sort of tab that in. Like so. Now, we've got a sword too. So, what you're going to do with the sword is sheath it, obviously, first. But, you want to take this tab right here and just tab it in right here. And this piece came back down. I don't know if it's meant to be back down or up. Because the instructions seem to show it being up. And that's what you have to do there with it. But, you know, frankly, I'm... <laughs> Frankly, I'm not too worried about it. Let's, you know, I'm just going to clean him up and we'll take a look at him because I've wasted enough of your all's time on this already. But that's basically him. So let me clean him up and stop wasting your all's time. So here's Cyclonus in his weird jet form. It kind of reminds me of some kind of weird, like, robotic, like, insect in a way, honestly, is what it makes me think of. But, I mean, it's okay. It's passable, you know, but it's just... The first mark against it for me is that it looks more like it's going for the Generation 1, actual Generation 1 cartoon Cyclonus than the IDW Cyclonus. Uh, he's one of the few that you see throughout that series, you see his alt mode quite a bit, and it does not look really anything like this other than the color. So that's a little disappointing in that regard, but you know there are trade-offs to get the alt mode or the robot mode as good as it is, and I'm perfectly happy with it so but as you can see it's you know it's just like the iron factory seekers except maybe worse <laughs> it's just a robot folded up under here so and these you know this part especially likes to untab very easily this shoulder part and if you try and tab it in oftentimes i untab this it's just it's very finicky to get together but you do have this ultra all uh extra landing your piece that you can fold down if you want to actually have him in this mode. And as you can see, this just plugs in right here for that look as far as that goes. And, you know, before I got frustrated, I didn't show you, but his legs do tap together inside there. So that's how that secures together. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's fine, but you know, this is not the draw of this figure. But I'll get you a, a couple of size comparisons real quick before we go any further. And you know, these are the only size comparisons I'm going to give you all in this mode because it just disappoints me with how awesome the robot mode is, just how weird this thing is. But here it is with an Iron Factory Seeker and Core Class Starscream. So you get a little bit of an idea of size in alt mode. But let me get him transformed back into a robot. And go over my final thoughts. So my final thoughts on Iron Factory's Hanyumaru. Obviously I absolutely love this figure in robot mode. Easily at least a 9.5 out of 10. Articulation and posability is great. Materials with Iron Factory great as always. Uh, joints are nice and tight. I've seen a lot of people complain that their versions were. The joints were maybe a little too tight. But on mine anyway, they weren't really any more tight than I expect from all the other Iron Factory figures I've gotten. So really nothing out of the ordinary there as far as that goes. Uh, aesthetically, obviously, absolutely love him in robot mode. But that's also where he falls apart in alt mode. You know, it's, it's just there. You know, there's really not a whole lot else to say about it. The inaccuracy, the, you know, it just doesn't really work that well. So... It is what it is. I'll take some concessions to get a robot mode as good as this, and that's fine with me. So, if you're just looking for a samurai robot, or you're a fan of the source material like I am, this is definitely a recommendation for me. That's going to do it for the review. Hope you all enjoyed it. Have a good one. Till next time.